Britney Spears fans still haven't forgiven Justin Timberlake. Last year, Spears shared her new memoir, The Woman in Me, which touched on some of her decades spent in the public eye. While there were a handful of people who weren't pleased with some of the details in the book, nobody came out looking worse than Timberlake. Spears revealed that the former NSYNC member got her pregnant, which led to a harrowing abortion. Then she detailed him ending their relationship via text. In response, fans bombarded Justin Timberlake online. The backlash became so bad that Timberlake had to turn off the comments on his Instagram. But earlier this month he returned. First, he announced some private shows, and shortly after a new single and album. The song is called Selfish and has racked up more than 4.5 million streams in the days since it first dropped. But Spears fans have tried to fight back. They've been streaming Britney's identically titled song Selfish in an attempt to divert attention away from Timberlake. While they seem to be doing a decent job, they don't have the approval of Britney herself anymore. Britney apologizes for her book controversies. In a new Instagram post made earlier today, Spears apologized for some of the controversy caused by her memoir. I want to apologize for some of the things I wrote about in my book. If I offended any of the people I genuinely care about, I am deeply sorry," her caption reads. Though she doesn't mention JT by name in that section of the post, she goes on to show her support for his new song. The second half of her caption reads, I also wanted to say I am in love with Justin Timberlake's new song, Selfish It Is So Good. The post came as a surprise to many fans, who assumed that Spears still had hard feelings for Timberlake. What do you think of Britney apologizing for some of the controversy over her book? Do you think Spears' Selfish is better than Justin Timberlake's? Let us know in the comment section below.